Hey friends, welcome back to the Nerd SMP. I'm Grenbug and today we're going to be finishing up our base and then we're going to be drawing some crew quarters. First I want to clean up all this dirt that uh, I had up here temporarily and fix some of the water that uh, needs to be fixed up and that way this top part will be all finished. to add some crew quarters back behind our dome so I'm going to build out a smaller dome just for the crew to have an area for sleeping and for storage lockers. So here in our main area, I want to use a lot of terracotta and concrete. We do have a lot of those materials out in our custom uh, end version that we have. So I'm going to head out there, which means I got to trade out my helmet for a pumpkin. <laughs> that looks great, doesn't it? Let's head out to the end. So friends, this is a peaceful kind of chill channel so uh the end ended up being uh not exactly peaceful things started out bad and then they got worse and then they got even worse <laughs> so how about this instead let's go shopping i think that's even better <laughs> So check it out. I can come out here to Solus and I can just buy what I need. It's wonderful. So here, Mr. Bob, can I can I grab a bunch of pumpkins and then trade you for some emeralds? Oh, I can? Isn't that great? <laughs> Mr. Mason, I can just trade for any color of terracotta that I want. See now, friends, isn't that much more pleasant, much more chill? It's a much better way to go. Let's head back. So here's what I'm thinking. I, I have some of this glazed terracotta, and I think it's going to go great with the dark blue concrete and the light blue concrete. So I'm just going to work on my palette here and get it figured out. So now I'm ready to start putting in the floor. I'm gonna switch over to my camera account. So kind of my idea with this build is that it's going to be an underwater research facility. So that's why I built the crew quarters in the back. And then this main area is going to be where our research scientists have their equipment to um, examine the wildlife and the plants that grow in this area. So the colors that I'm selecting here, I, I want to go with blue since we're underwater, that, that's a natural, but I also wanted to make sure that we kept things kind of bright and cheerful. So I picked a palette that's uh, a little colorful and bright.
start decorating this little crew area. I'm going to build up some bunk beds and then also use these barrels as storage lockers for the crew. And then I'll add a desk over here and a few more details, like some ladders so that the crew can get up to those bunk beds, and then some rails to protect them from falling. Next, we'll add some moodier lighting so it's a little darker back here. And I think we're all done. So this is what we're going to be drawing today, are the crew quarters. Now as I got into this, I realized I'm, I keep setting myself up for these uh, strict perspective type of drawings. I mean, we're bl drawing blocks, we're in Minecraft, but I tend to like more organic drawing. And this one really, um, like last week's, forces me to try to get into better perspective. And that's a little harder for me. Um, so I struggle with it a little. The purple uh, lines are my perspective grid to help me do my sketch a little better. And then the red lines are my sketch. Uh, and then what I'm going to do is make that more transparent so I can draw my final sketch on top of this. But one of the things is that I realized that top bunk is just adding a little too much complexity to the uh, illustration that I'm trying to do. So as I do my final sketch, I wanted to make it a little more organic. You know, I add a little fluffier pillow there uh, to make it more realistic and then forgot about the uh, top bunk because it just added too much complexity and too many, too much going on in the scene. So I wanted to simplify it a little bit. So this time I also used a background uh, texture to the whole thing to make it look like I'm actually drawing on paper, but this is all through Procreate. And I really like the look of it. I like how, uh, how everything turned out and the texture really works together in the illustration. our final illustration for today. So now I'm ready to start decorating our main area. I'm going to build up the main desk area of our research station, add some storage over here, and one of the things I got to be careful is, is not to cover up my lighting because I don't want to get it to do be too dark in here. So I'm going to add in some chests and then I'll just start filling things in so I have plenty of room for everything. get rid of these furnaces over here because I think they're kind of in the way from our entry area. I'm not sure where I'm going to put them yet, but I think I'm instead I'll work on the central desk kind of workstation area.
So now I can add some details like some brewing stations so that it looks like our scientists are running experiments on things. And I think that adds a lot of uh, ambiance to the, to the build and to kind of give it more history and more story to it. So everything's coming together nicely. I just have one more corner where I need to get some additional things in. So I ran and grabbed some bookshelves, books, um, a lectern, some item frames, and now I can decorate this last corner. And with this last few decorations, now we're ready for our final walkthrough. Let's take a look. So here we have all our storage area along the back. The central station has all our experiments and tools that our scientists can use to research this area that we're in. Plus there's a book area and library where our uh, scientists can study and see pictures of the fish and the wildlife from the area. And then over on this side, we have more of our uh, workstations that we need, our tools and our furnaces. I also added some more item frames on top of our desk to make it look like these are things that the scientists are looking at and examining right now. So some sea pickles and seagrass. I think they look, look great up here on the desk. And then of course we have our crew quarters back here where our crew can take a nap, store their things, and get back to work when they're ready to do their research. I love how all this turned out. I really think it turned out uh, really great and everything works together really well and it looks like it's perfect for being under the sea. So that's it for this episode. Thanks for joining me. My name is Grenbug and we'll see you again next time.